Yesterday, we told you about the Gilbreeze development in Gigo, where residents have been without water for 10 years. A it's a Francis Gill problem. development. Right One now, resident, Juan Pukaigui, gave us a memorandum of understanding signed eight years ago in February 2002, which obligated Gill's company, Seifred, to supply the materials and obliged the Guam Waterworks Authority to provide the labor to build a water line into the private development. CCU Chairman Simon Sanchez says he's seen that MOU and it will not be on it. Uh, there was another uh, a number of agreements between Francis Gill and GWA of this type, but they, they, they violated the law from the get-go. So the fact that a manager of any government agency signs an agreement that is illegal from the get-go doesn't mean the agency has to carry it out. Sanchez also says that he and the GWA board have already met with Gill to inform him that the MOU won't be on, and Gill has threatened to sue them. And the most telling thing for me was in a contentious meeting that we had that didn't end well when he said, I will see you in court. I'm Mr. Gonna, Gill Mr. Mr. The developer, Mr. Gill, said, I will see you in court. I will sue GWA because this is a valid agreement. Well, eight years later, we're still waiting for the lawsuit. The courts have clearly shown in the Gil Baza litigation that he has erred and he is wrong and that he has, uh, has hurt those families and he owes those families. In addition to the suspect MOU, Pukaigui also gave us a copy of a letter written by Deputy Attorney General Patrick Mason to Senator Frank Blas Jr., which seems to conflict with Guam law, barring Gov Guam from supplying any utility for a private developer. In his response to the issues at Gil Breeze, Mason writes that the Department of Public Works should be able to tell you when it will install a water and sewer system in this subdivision. And Mason also goes on to say the problem of installing water and sewer at the Gilbreeze subdivision will fall on the Department of Public Works. For the past two days, we've sought clarification from the Attorney General's office on just what this letter from Pat Mason to Senator Blas does mean. The CCU chairman and the director of Guam's Public Works also would like some clarification. At this juncture, DPW has no authority, no funding, or any means to build this as is being, uh, the opinion is being provided. So what are you going to, what, what will you do next? Will you seek clarification? Well, I just received this today, and uh, most definitely I will uh, uh, email to the Attorney General's office to, first of all, ascertain how did they derive this. Maybe there's a document I did not see. And CCU Chairman Simon Sanchez says that the Attorney General needs to clarify its position on Gil Breeze. I'd like to ask the Attorney General perhaps to clarify uh, exactly what part of the law says that if a developer fails to put in the infrastructure that's required by law, or in this case required by the agreements that that developer had with these individual landowners that he would put in the infrastructure, then why is it the government of Guam's responsibility to put it in if that developer fails? Uh, that's, that's just an open door for all developers to not put in any infrastructure and make the government of Guam pay for it. In an email to PNC News today, the spokesman for the Attorney General's office, Eric Palacios, said that he is working to make someone available to clarify the issue. Kevin Kerrigan, PNC News.